What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Heavy Duty Country. I figured I'd, I'd wear the correct hat for this video just because it applies, literally and figuratively. Kamala, hey, hi. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's not funny. What you are doing is not funny. The situation at the border is not funny. And I know you just have like this nervous laugh or tick or whatever it is, and that's fine. But that doesn't change the fact that you're not addressing the problem. So let's start from Guatemala, why don't we? Kamala decides that she's not going to go to the border. She decides to go to Guatemala and tell them to not come, which is pretty damn far from Texas where the issue is, right? So she's trying to satisfy the people who really don't give a fuck about what's going on in the border by going to Guatemala and ignoring the real problem. And this is an example of what she thinks about visiting the border or the importance of visiting the border. Watch this. Do you have plans to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I said I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. So she's, she will be at the border today, but just not where the action is. And I love the woman who asked her and then Kamala said, I'm not finished. And she's like, yeah, we, we, we know your joke. Clearly, it's not very high on her to-do list. And I am not joking here when I say that in Texas, it is a straight invasion. So she finally goes to the border. And she says this. Glad to be here. It was always the plan to come here. And I think we're going to have a good and productive day. Look, we're not going to give you the credit of thinking that we're that dumb to the point where we're going to believe it was always the plan to come here. You have Air Force Two at your disposal. You could have gone there, slept there, done whatever you wanted there the first day that you were in office, but you have chosen not to. And then you go to the part of the border, that's not the issue. If this gun was the border, right? The Texas border, the part that kind of goes down, and this is the very bottom of Texas where the issue is, you went right there. No fucking issue. Maybe a little bit of an issue, but nothing compared to down here. And now we get to the real reason why you went to the border, but not really the border because you went to the part where it didn't really fucking matter. And it's because Trump said that he was gonna go to the border and that he's meeting with Governor Abbott. And good job for everybody who is out there protesting, saying, hey, it's a little too late and that it's inhumane to keep children in cages or wherever they're keeping them. I don't know, maybe I'm being nuts, so let me ask y'all. If you're at work and six months ago, your boss asked you to do a pretty big project, but gave you all of the things necessary to do it, right? Maybe it was out of state, maybe you needed to fly somewhere, maybe you needed to do a concrete pour or something out of state, whatever it may be. And the first month went by, and the second month went by, and the third month, and the fourth month, and the fifth month, and all those months your boss keeps asking you, hey, hey, what, when are you gonna get it done? And you respond with, well, yeah, 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 we are gonna get it done. And finally on the sixth month, you finally go and do it, but you kind of half-ass it. And the only reason why you went and did it is because somebody else offered to go do it for you. What would your boss do? Do you think he'd pat you on the back and say, hey, 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 good job, man. You did, you did a real good job. No, he'd probably fire your ass. That's what needs to happen with Kamala. You're not doing your job. You're not doing your job.